Hi, I'm Dr. Ted, and this is Fracture Friday. For this episode, I have what's called a tibial plateau fracture. Okay, so the tibial plateau is the tibia, your shin bones, contribution to the knee joint. Okay, so that's obviously very important, and um, it's a relatively common injury. I mean, it's not what I would call a common injury, but it's a it, it happens frequently. So. Um, this one happens to be a very comminuted tibial plateau fracture. So, um, what we have here is the AP of a tibial plateau fracture. So, what's hard to appreciate on the basically x ray is how much of the articular surface of the tibia is actually involved. So, we have the lateral here too that doesn't give you a whole lot more information about what's going on with the joint. So what we typically do is order a CT scan. So I have an image here of a really cool 3D reconstruction of a CT scan. So the CT scan, the computer that we use for that, can make us a three-dimensional model that with the computer you can kind of roll around like, I don't know, you do with some of the mapping software that's available on your phone. Um, the earth programs and stuff. So you can kind of spin it around to take a look at it. Like this is actually looking at the back part of the tibia and the back part, the posterior part of the distal femur, but you can see, well at least if you're me, you can see how many little pieces there are to that articular surface. So that's a very bad tibial plateau fracture. And what we worry about with intra-articular fractures is post-traumatic arthritis. Like we need to get the fracture fragments that involve the articular surface fixed as closely as possible to anatomic to try to avoid early degeneration of the joint. So that is accomplished with open reduction internal fixation. Now this patient had both a medial and a lateral plate. So there's a plate on the inside of the shin bone at the top and on the outside of the shin bone at the top to try to hold all those fracture fragments together because it's a very comminuted kind of split tibial plateau fracture. So the AP here shows two plates and multiple screws holding these fracture fragments together. And then the lateral shows the same two plates and the same basically screws holding together that proximal fracture fragment. So ultimately what we hope for the patient is that the fracture heals without too much of an incident and they don't end up with post-traumatic arthritis. This fracture does have a high incidence of having to have a knee replacement for post-traumatic arthritis after this injury. I hope you liked watching this video. Thanks for watching. Hi, Dr. Ted. Thanks for sticking around after the video. If you'd like to see some more content from us, please subscribe to the channel and like this video.